Hey everyone, my name is Bryce and I'm on the engineering team here at Airbyte. And I'm super excited to tell you about our new quick start method called ABCTL. You can find the documentation for ABCTL at docs.airbyte.com and clicking here on the quick start link. ABCTL is a single binary and it's only prerequisite is having a Docker engine installed. We recommend that you install a Docker desktop for your particular platform, be it Mac or Windows. If you're on Linux, you can just install the Docker Community Edition and you can follow along here for installation methods for each individual platform. If you're on Mac, we have a tap that you can install with Brew. Linux has a binary for both AMD and ARM, as well as Windows. ABCTL is hosted on GitHub at github.com slash airbytehq slash ABCTL. It's under the MIT license and you're free to go and look at the source and compile this yourself if you'd like. Here's some additional information here about the various flags and commands that ABCTL passes. So if you'd like to take a look at that, go ahead. There's also a place here in the GitHub issues where you can report new issues with ABCTL here at github.com slash airbytehq slash airbyte. Under the issues, click new issue and you'll see ABCTL report an issue with the ABCTL tool. I'd like to give a quick demonstration on how to use ABCTL. So here I have it installed, ABCTL version. I'm on 0.5.0. It will tell me that I'd like to upgrade to the latest, but for right now, I'll just stay on this. If I run ABCTL local install, I'll get some interesting debug information here, or info, I should say. First of all, it says that the Kubernetes provider that it's going to use is Kind. Kind is a local Kubernetes instance that can be run on Docker. So it's Kubernetes in Docker. And we use that in the ABCTL as a way to install Airbyte using the Airbyte chart. So you see here that we're actually creating a Kubernetes cluster called Airbyte ABCTL, and that'll be running on my local machine. And we'll try to bind this instance of Airbyte to port 8000. You can configure this through a variable to the ABCTL local install, and you can put a dash dash help at the end of this command to see all the options that it takes. And here you'll see that we're installing Airbyte slash Airbyte from the Helm chart. So now we're actually installing Airbyte through the Helm chart that's our open source Helm chart. And this will take just a couple minutes. But when we're done, we'll actually have a local installation of Airbyte running on my machine where I can set up connections and do all sorts of things. And now the installation has finished up and it is launched in my browser, this instance of Airbyte. I can set this up here get started and it'll take me into my new installation. And from here I can configure sources and destinations just like I would uh, on Airbyte Cloud or with Airbyte Self-Managed Enterprise. So thank you for watching this demo and we'll see you next time.